Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylin Alex. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. So guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite, favorite sunglasses from my sunglass little collection. I do love a nice pair of sunglasses like that's my thing i love sunglasses i love to invest in sunglasses invest <laughs> they're just that accessory to me that i feel like makes an outfit pop adds a little more you know sass to an outfit it really steps that outfit up now sometimes outfits don't call for some sunglasses but that's kind of like very rare i put on a pair of sunglasses with everything period so i want to share with you guys some of my favorite i think i have six pairs here that i'm going to share with you and let you know what i like about each so let's get started first pair i'm going to share are a pair from lueve they are these white sunglasses and i have the names of them i have the names and the exact sunglasses in the description bar because some of them i cannot remember the exact name of them <laughs> But these I think are so fun. I love the way that the side of them or like the frame, like the outside of them is white. But then right here in the lens area, it's black with the, um, it's almost like a reddish gradient kind of look for the lens. I think that is so cute. It looks retro to me. I love putting this on with an outfit and just making it a little bit more, less, a little less serious. Like I feel like these sunglasses are fun. They're vibrant. They're definitely that, you know, retro kind of look. So it just makes an outfit look a little less serious, if that makes sense. But I mean, these are still that girl okay now they come in a few different colorways and styles i know one of the um more recent i guess pairs that i've been seeing are a gray or like a khaki green color and i think black those are really cute i just like the contrasting colors you know so i believe i've seen these in a solid black or something of the sort but i just prefer the contrast and colors. I feel like it just adds a little bit more excitement to this pair of sunglasses. It, it gives the look of it. It all flows. The next pair are a pair from Prada. You guys saw me um, kind of review this pair in a more recent video. They are these Prada sunglasses, which I... Mm, they're such a vibe. These are plain and simple, but still personality. I love the side little handle on them. I think that is so cute and such a neat design for such a, you know, simple pair of sunglasses. I love the all black look. I needed a pair of sunglasses that were not, <laughs> that were not um, black with some type of gold detailing as some of my very favorites are. Um, this one, it was just plain black. I wanted something with a cat eye kind of look to it. And these had that. They're also pretty lightweight, so they just work. And I love this gray detailing that it has in the lens. I feel like that just adds a little bit extraness to it and makes it so that it's not just a plain pair of, you know, black cat eye sunglasses it makes it, it it adds a little something to the item I, those are just things that i like because i feel like why buy just like i can get the plain version from anywhere like add a little bit something more to make me be like okay this is why we get that item you know what i mean so this is like one of those basic items that's just had it has a little bit something like extra on top that made me you know say i need that i feel like these sunglasses are staple sunglasses like i maybe one or two other ones i would highly highly recommend but if you're like new to sunglasses or new to in purchasing like more expensive sunglasses i feel like these are a good way to go um they're not super 
expensive. They're pretty reasonable for designer sunglasses. They are a look that is versatile in which you can wear it with pretty much everything. Um, and then it's a classic style of sunglasses, you know, like that cat eye square kind of look. It's a classic style. And then you got the little detailing on the side that makes it just a little bit extra, a little bit something different instead of it just being straight. You can't really go wrong with these. So I would suggest a pair of sunglasses like these, if not this exact pair, as a good first pair or a good designer pair of sunglasses. So sticking with the theme of just black sunglasses, I'm going to show you guys my absolute favorite pair of sunglasses in this list. And they are the Louis Vuitton 1.1 Millionaires. These, when we talk about cost per wear and just like love in general, I've gotten my complete cost per wear with these sunglasses and I absolutely love them. These are my top, top favorite pairs of sunglasses. I love them because they are that plain black look. They're square, they're small, but then they have this gold detailing on the sides and at the top that gives it an extra pop. It makes it a little bit more sassier, a little more bossier. I just love them. They, these are my favorites. These are my favorites. I actually need to go take them to get, um, and I could probably do this myself, but they need to be tightened. These are actually men's sunglasses, okay? These are men's sunglasses. However, I love them. Women <laughs> love them. I feel like everybody and their mother who has them, I know I they wear them out because they're just they're just that amazing. I love how dark black the lens are. Um usually sometimes when you get black sunglasses, the lens they aren't like super black so it kind of looks like a little radiant but these are very much so tinted they definitely give off that bossy like what what you say what you say it gives up that vibe to me every time i wear them i just feel like i'm supposed to be you know talk to me nice okay <laughs> uh, i just love these sunglasses i feel like they are so worth the money now, what I will say about these is these are a pair of pricey, extremely pricey sunglasses. They're extremely pricey to be sunglasses, okay? They're very expensive. But, 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 I think they're so worth it. Simply for the fact of I have worn them out, okay? The metal or the uh, gold uh detailing on them it does make the sunglasses heavy though you can kind of feel the sunglasses do have a little weight to them now for the price of these sunglasses i could expect it i would understand that because you know it, it kind of makes sense but one thing to know is that you do feel the weight of the gold detailing now is it crazy you know heavy absolutely not they're still a pair of sunglasses but to be sunglasses you do feel the weight of them because of the gold detailing okay these do come in different like nose lit i mean nose widths there's a e and a w it's supposed to be based on your nose type so you might want to like check into that i think it will only make a huge difference if you have one side extremely different than others so if you are definitely a e you a w wouldn't work and vice versa unless you're on the complete opposite ends of the spectrum in sizing you it probably wouldn't matter for me i cannot remember which size this is and if i'm editing and can remember it or can find it I will link it but I just went and tried the sunglasses on and I was like you know what I want these sunglasses let me get them I didn't check to see what if they were E or W like I just got them they work for me and you know Louis Vuitton actually has a updated or like a newer version of the sunglasses they are a little bit of a wider 
lens they're more square to me and they have that Louis Vuitton logo in the dead center of them they're not really my favorites I don't really care for those these are still supreme to me I also love the I think 1.1 zillionaires they are very similar to this except they have a little they're more of a square round kind of vibe and a little bit thicker but they're similar to this and those are I love those too like I've actually considered getting those but my uh, client advisor was like you already have these so why would you get those that's how much I love them like I love it so much I will buy multiples <laughs> the next pair are more of a recent purchase they have easily become second phase to my 1.1 millionaires they are these by Chanel I think they're called octate uh, rectangle octate or something like that Actate. I love them they are just black sunglasses uh, as you can tell the lens isn't super black compared to the Louis Vuitton ones but they have that gold detailing on the side it isn't super flashy as the Louis Vuitton ones you know it doesn't have anything at the top only at the side and it has these uh, Chanel logos on the arms or the handles whatever you want to call it these are definitely look at that they're so cute now these to me look more feminine than the Louis Vuitton ones clearly because these are actually women uh, sunglasses versus the Louis Vuitton ones but I just love the way this looks I love how chic they look it's still that square kind of um, shape there are a slightly oversized but they're not really oversized I just love the way the look they look the side profile I love it I love the little small detailing here how it just kind of like connects and flows it just makes sense these are such a bossy pair of sunglasses they scream elegance to me they scream just sass and they're Chanel this is a pair of sunglasses that I could see being worn with like a big floppy hat on the beach but still like you know giving aesthetics and content these are just housewife to me <laughs> this is what they remind me of when I seen them I was like oh my god I love that I need those and instantly when I saw them, I knew that these were going to be a second favorite. I knew that they were, may even become the first favorite. I just love the way that they look. Now, what, com what differentiates these from the Louis Vuitton ones, because, you know, they're neck and neck, <laughs> is the size of them. Of course, these are a little bit more bigger. These are a little bit more feminine than the Louis Vuitton ones. They are a little bit smaller they are pretty different you know similar but different like you can kind of tell that this one is more masculine and more for a male because of the shape of the you know the lens and the glass sunglass itself whereas this one looks a little bit more feminine has that oversized kind of look it almost has a little you know design here that kind of resembles what a cat eye would look like it's not super square um if you know what i mean so yeah, this is them side by side and you can just tell the difference, but the, I alternate between these two. They're my top two favorites. Moving on to something, some crystal and embellished ones. The first pair I have are my Gucci. I believe these are from the Hollywood collection. They have these jewels across the top and on the side I just love the fact that they're white with the embellishment it just gives summertime to me <laughs> these definitely make me feel like Hollywood like the name of them it makes sense because that's what I feel when I wear them these are definitely those diva extra sunglasses I mean they have these crystals on them for crying out loud like of course they gotta be extra they just I don't know these match my personality these are definitely a pair that I'm like mm, I would never get rid of them they're they're just so amazing I feel like they're also so Gucci because Gucci is known for this shape and style 
the extraness and flamboyancy of them it just all makes sense i was hoping not to have this issue and i have not i have not lost any of the crystals on the sunglasses i have taken these on vacation and they have been perfectly fine now i do store them carefully whenever i'm carrying them out or just you know in storage they are stored carefully so i do make sure that i keep up with my stuff and that is not being damaged so i mean that could play a role in it but i haven't had any issues of any of the um crystals being missing or anything like that so that is a great thing i'm i'm very proud of it last pair of sunglasses i have are a pair that are my top three <laughs> they're top they're definitely favorites if i wear a sunglass it would probably be these pairs they are by anna Karen carson <sighs> I love them. I love them so much. I love how extra they are. I feel like these <laughs> match my personality so much. They are just me. I feel like if I was a sunglass, it would be these. These are just my favorites like that. I know that they come in a black crystal version. My mom has that pair. They are very nice. I honestly, it was between the two. Of course, this one is just a little bit more... You see it better, and my mom was getting the other one, so I was like, you know what? I'm getting these anyway, so we could be twins. <laughs> uh, I just love these sunglasses. I think they're so cute. I love the oversized shape of them. They're not super big, but they are definitely not just the square, you know, sunglasses that we're used to. These are another pair that I feel like are worth the price for them. With these, you definitely feel the weight of them from the crystals and just the sunglasses this pair of sunglasses within themselves they have a little bit of a weight to them which i kind of expected given the price tag that's on them i feel like it makes sense i love that the side of them has the logo here but this is a little bit thicker and then of course it slims down here i love that look because it kind of looks like it you know flows with the sunglass versus just being you know oversized and square and then boom a skinny little arm there it doesn't make sense <laughs> so i love how these are just made and designed like i said you do feel the weight of these sunglasses which is expected for a pair of sunglasses like this I have not had any issues with losing any of the crystals on these. I want to say that these may be hand placed crystals. You can kind of tell just by how they're placed on the sunglasses and how they're not super, they're not super neat. If that makes sense, they're kind of just placed. And in some spaces you can see that maybe one was a little bit closer to the other one because it looks like there's a space they're like maybe it was missing but it's not it's just the way that the crystal is turned they're not all the same way it almost looks like how gravel looks how it's different pieces of rocks and stuff that's kind of like how it looks and i just love that because it makes them look so much like more authentic if that's a good word to use uh it it makes it so that not each pair is the same i love items like that where is every item is not the same and there's not a whole lot of the items you know what i mean so i love that about these and of course the sparkle and the shine is just extraness that i love in my life that i need in my life so these these are definitely top three for me so guys that is gonna be it those are my absolute favorite sunglasses if i had to recommend any sunglasses it would be one of these pairs of sunglasses I love them so much. I've definitely gotten where my money's worth. <laughs> my money's worth of wear out of these sunglasses. Highly recommend them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, drop a nice comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification so you get a notification when I post again. And I will see you in the next video.